Hi, I'm Greg Ismay, and welcome back to the video blog. Today we're going to talk about in-law space, but before we do that, if you're curious to know what's on the market currently in your area, please click the link to the right of the screen. Or if you're a homeowner and you're curious to know the value of your home, please click the link below and you'll receive a free home value report. Okay, so let's talk about in-law space. Uh, I worked with a couple of clients recently who were looking to purchase a new home that would allow them the flexibility to bring an extended family member into their primary living or their primary home along with their primary family. And it's interesting, we've seen some new solutions that uh, you might not be aware of. Many of the national, the, the big track builders are starting to offer floor plans in the 3200 to 3500 square foot range that would enable uh, a family member to have private space on the main level, but also to integrate into the, uh, the normal family living situation uh, when they choose to. So an interesting thing uh, that we've seen is that typically when this buyer is looking for in-law space, they're frustrated because anything that they do find tends to be a retrofit. Uh, for instance, it may be um, you know a, a, a shower that's put into a space down in the basement and a kitchen along with it, but the build quality is not the same as the rest of the house, and, and it's uh, inconvenient to get the family member kind of to and from uh, the family living situation. And in this case, it's a much more um, uh, kind of seamless solution. So if anyone you know, or maybe yourself, is uh, dealing with thoughts about trying to uh, bring maybe an uh, elderly parent or uh, maybe a sibling who's having health problems uh, into your home so that you can care for them a little more closely, uh, please give me a call because there's some real interesting solutions out there.